Okay, so it says failed to allocate blah 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 bytes. Error. Update package missing system.image. Press any key to continue. I'm going to go ahead and press any key to continue and bring up a new command window because this is how you fix that problem. So once you bring up a new command window, what I'm going to have to do probably here too is shorten some of these windows so you guys are able to see what I'm doing. What you got to do here, guys, in order to fix that issue is flash these files one by one. So let me show you what I mean. Basically, the first thing you need to do is type in fastboot flash bootloader. Put a space in there. And make sure you're using your spaces, your dashes, and your periods for this. You just want to find your bootloader file over here in the list. And actually, it is right here. So you got to type this in exactly as it shows there. So, and you want to do it in this order too, guys. Bootloader dash shamu dash moto apq eight zero eight four dash seven one dot fifteen Don't forget that and hit enter. And you can see it goes through and it flashes that part of it. The next one you want to do is flash your radio if you have the radio one. And let's look over here. I do have the radio one and it's down here near, it's right here near the bottom, the radio file. So basically what you want to do is type in the same thing. Fastboot flash <clears throat> radio, put a space, and then you want to type that whole entire thing in radio dash shamu dash d 4.01 dash 9625 and again it has to be exactly exactly right guys or this won't work 05.27 and you even need to put this little plus symbol in there fsg dash 9625 this is a long one but I'm doing it slow so I know I get it exactly right. And always add the .img at the end. And that will flash the radio if you have a radio. You may not have that. But you want to do it in that order. So once you do that, then what you need to do is make sure you do this, guys. Type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader. Just give the phone a reboot. That's really important, make sure you do that. And then what you wanna do is go right on down the list and flash the rest of them. So the next one I'm gonna do is fastboot flash recovery space, and then put recovery.img for, let's look over here, wherever the recovery file is, then hit enter. The next one I'm gonna do is the boot.image one. So, Fast boot flash boot space boot dot img and we'll flash the boot one. You can see guys I'm just simply going down the list and I would do it you can do it in the order I'm doing it, it'd be the best way to do it. So type in fast boot flash system now space system dot img which that one is right here so go ahead and hit enter and that will flash the system now there's two more left the cache which, which the user data here and the cache and I recommend doing them so as soon as this is done I'm gonna do those the same way I recommend you guys do it basically the same way too Okay guys, so it's done flashing the system. When you flash the system one, you may note that it takes a little longer, so I kind of jumped ahead here to the last two. So basically type in fast boot flash cache space cache dot img. Enter. That did the cache. And we have one more to do. I'm gonna do the user data. So fast boot flash user data 
and then you want to put the space in user data dot img and that flashes the user data which takes just a little extra time here but once that is done you're pretty much done at this point so i'm going to bring up the phone all we need to do here now guys you can exit out of the command window there basically at this point you just simply choose start you can see there is a little lock down there now and that is because your bootloader is unlocked you can actually go in and relock the bootloader by running the command fastboot oem lock but you want to be careful that you have all your stuff backed up because that may wipe out your phone again so all this stuff you guys are doing at your own risk but this is how you get past that error message that's really annoying and takes a little extra time but it will get your device back to normal and you guys will still get your OTA updates for your device okay guys I'm back here at the home screen let's go in and verify real quick that we're good to go here there it is model number Nexus 6 Android version 6.0 and there is my current build MRA 58k which I did have on the phone in the beginning because I already flashed it once, but there it is officially, guys. So, Android Marshmallow now on the Nexus 6 up to date. You will still get OTA updates with this stock update. Unfortunately, you'll have to reroute however you guys do are doing that. But thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it really helped some of you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it. And thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Have a good one. See ya.